Hi my magical creatures and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is I'm going to be talking about um, uh, when to come out to a man when you're transgender. Someone had, I've been getting some um, questions about that so I'm going to go ahead and do a video on that. Um, and before we begin, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe. It's a free way to help your girl out. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so... I know, like, I haven't posted, like, all week and everything, you guys. Trust me, I'm not going anywhere. I've just uh, got caught up. I was just so burnt out and tired from, like, everything that's going on in my life. Um, but, yes, um, I'm going to try to upload two videos, one today, and, and I'm going to try to hopefully upload one tomorrow. So, um, but, yes, yeah, so let's get into the topic. So, when to come out as a man, or <laughs> when to come out as a man, when to come out as transgender to the guy that you're talking to, um, I know like some of y'all like to date women too. Uh, women tend to be less aggressive and less violent. So this video is for the girls that want to date men. So, um, for me, I'm just going to tell y'all what I did. Um, uh, because uh, there's just too many people saying, don't do this, do this, do that, don't do that. So, um, I'm gonna just tell y'all what I did. Cause clearly, you know, I'm still here, still alive, face still intact, you know, everything like that. So clearly I'm doing something right. So, um, okay. So basically, uh, when I first started dating and everything like that, um, you will get your heart broken. Um, I don't care if you're like the most passable girl on the planet, everything like that. I feel like, I think everybody experiences heartbreak at some point in their life. So, um, yeah. So just, you know, when you go on a date with a guy, um, don't have any expectations, don't have feelings for them, none of that, because once you tell them you're trans, it's, it can either go left or it can go right real quick. So, for me, um, when I went on a date, my first date was actually with this hot guy, oh my god, he was like six foot two, muscular, he was like Italian and Mexican, oh my god, and his name, he had a gladiator name, I'm not gonna say his name, but, um... He was really good looking. I mean, oh, so fine. But, you know, um, he took me out on a date, everything like that. Um, he wasn't really emotionally sensitive to, you know, he was just such a guy. He was just kind of like, whatever, you know. I don't know about him, you know. So, well, of course, it was my first date and it was my first interaction with the boy, period. So, um, you know, just head over heels and I was just... Like, thought this guy was going to be it. This is the one. I'm going to get married. Oh, my God. So, um, yeah, the date was horrible. Um, you know, so, yeah, when you go on a date with a guy, no matter how hot he is or how attractive you are to him or whatever, just take it as, like, hey, we're just, it's like an interview. Like, you're, 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 when you go on a date with a guy, it's, it's the interview process. Like, you're interviewing him to see if he is worthy of you know, being in your life for a really long time and you even spending your time, your valuable, precious time on a guy if, if, it's, if he's even worth it, you know? So what I did, um, I did not tell guys I was transgender. Um, I wouldn't say that I was trans. Um, and then my family got super worried for me because they thought I was going to end up like a statistic, you know, getting attacked and stuff for being trans. Um, you know, luckily for me, when I dressed full-time as a woman, um, I was still passable even without surgery and everything like that. Um, so, with that being said, um, you know, I wouldn't tell a guy. I would literally get to know him first and everything like that. But before I can even, like, I would literally go on a date, like, two dates, like, without telling a guy. Like, the first date, you know, I'll just get to know him. Like, we talk, you know, just see what he's about. Stuff like that. Do not kiss him. Do not kiss him. I know it's hard. I know it's tempting. But, if I mean, if he grabs you and you walk away and he grabs you and, like, goes fools on kisses you, you know, because some men are really, you know, aggressive like that, then that's on him. That's his fault. And don't, work, don't like, trip about that if you didn't tell him you're trans. But um, usually the first date. And then the second date, usually after the first date, I would tell a guy that I'm trans, you know. But, um, you know, it just, it just depends on the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he's trying to be all sexual and stuff on the first date, then either it's your choice if you want to take it further by telling him you're trans, 
or um, if you don't tell him you're trans, he's definitely going to make a move on the second date. I'm just saying. So just kind of fill out the situation, the vibe and everything. So um, yeah, so when I went out with this guy, well, a few guys actually, um, I didn't say I was trans. Like I would literally tell them like after the, you know, um, and don't do it in person either. That's another thing. When you come out to a guy, do not do it in person because you don't know if he's going to react. Even if you do it in a public area, you don't know if he's going to flip. You don't know if he's going to like attack you. You just, you don't know. I've never done that. I've never went out on a date with a guy and then after the date, after he didn't pay and, you know, wine and dine you and everything, um, as you should, you know, um, and then you tell him, by the way, I'm trans, like, girl, like, he's gonna be mad, like, do it over the phone, like, whenever you tell a guy you're trans, do that shit over the phone, like, text it to him, or usually I like to FaceTime, you know, but if you're a little too scared to FaceTime, just give him a phone call, be like, hey, babe, can you call me real quick, like, I gotta, um, tell you something, you know, and then he, if he wants to see you again, he's gonna pick up the phone and, like, actually want to, like, talk to you and everything like that, um, you know, so, for me, um, yeah, so after that, like, after the first date or the second date, um, definitely after the second date, girl, you're, he, for me, guys always want to, like, make the move, you know what I'm saying? So, I just, like, be like, so after the, you know, first or second date, I'll call him up and be like, hey, um, you know, I had a really good, um, time with, first I'll text him and be like, hey, can you call, FaceTime me real quick or video chat me real quick? And then they'd be like, yeah, yeah, give me a sec, you know. And then you just be like, hey, like, I just want to let you know, like, I think you're a really nice guy. I think you're really cool. Um, but, you know, there is something about me that you need to know. And a lot of them are going to be thinking, like, oh, she got kids. Like, you know, um, she don't probably don't want to see me no more. Well, you got a boyfriend. Maybe, like, stuff like that. So... You know, just be like, yeah, um, I think you're a really nice guy. I definitely want to see you again, you know, but, um, yeah. And then you just lay it on him like, hey, I'm trans. And you know what? Some of them, too, they're going to be like, what the hell? Like, no, you're not. Like, you're not, you know, because they already have a perceived perception of you, you know? So, um, luckily, you know, I had to pull out my old license or whatever, cover up my address, show them the picture, you know, and then they were like, dang. But I mean, I get that all the time. Like, no, you're not like you're playing with me, da, 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 stuff like that. So with that being said, um, you did your part. You told now it's up to him. The ball's in his court. And if he wants to take you out again, cool. And then if not, then you know what? That's his loss. And you know what? You're so... You don't need a man, okay? But, I mean, it's nice to have them around, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's kind of, that's what I did in the beginning. Like, after the first, second day, I would tell them. And then, after being rejected a lot, you know, for being trans, um, I do not recommend doing this. But I thought, like, if I don't tell a guy I'm trans and wait until he asks me to be his girlfriend type, you know, stuff, then I'll tell him I'm trans, you know? Oh, my God, do not do that. Do not do that. That is, like, the worst thing you could do to a guy. Like, is just lead them on to the point where they're, like, in love with you. Because I have seen a few trans girls where they would just go out with guys. And they still have, like, their penis and everything. Like, they'll go out with guys. And then, um, th these guys will end up, like, falling in love with them type stuff. Like, they would not be sexual with each other or anything like that. And then, like, he will full on, like, after seeing each other for, like, three months or whatever. He's like, all right, I want you to be my girl, my girlfriend, everything like that. And then they'd be like, okay. And then once, you know, before they, you know, it's time to hop in the bed together and stuff like that. Then the guy would be flipping out on them. And that's how, why these girls are getting like hurt and K-I-L-L-E-D and everything like that. Because they out here not telling these guys. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I did that. Luckily for me, nothing crazy really happened to me. I was threatened, you know, but not, they never put their hands on me. But to avoid all of that don't lead them on to the point where it's just like you know you make them fall in love with you and then and then it's just it just it makes them angry makes them confused and then they be wanting to know like how did I not see this then they start questioning their own sexuality like am I gay for liking you still I mean some guys won't care but I mean don't risk it you know what I'm saying uh, I don't want to see y'all get hurt um but 
as I finally got surgeries done and, you know, I finally came into myself and love myself, you know, and not really, and not care about these men anymore, you know, um, now what I do is when I meet a guy and a guy says, oh my God, you're beautiful, everything like that, thank you, you know, I just flat out be like, I'm trans, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm trans, um, you know, it is what it is, but I mean, if you still want to hang out and see me, I'm down for that, but either than that, I just, I don't want no problems, like, I just think it's fair that you should know, you know, stuff like that, um, that's what I do now, because I just don't have time for the, you know, hiding it, and, you know, I just, I know who I am, I love myself, I don't need a man to make me happy, so, with that being said, I mean, I feel like there's really truly two ways that you can do it, but depending on how passable you are, you can go on one date with a guy, get to know him, you know, get, let him get to know you, and then after the first date, now that he kind of got to know you and stuff like that, then you can say, you know, on the phone, like, hey, I had a good time with you, I do want to see you again, um, but, you know, you need to know I'm trans, you know, um, or you can do what I do and just uh, before they, before you even waste your time going on a date with a guy, you know what I'm saying? Just be like, hey, I'm trans, you know, um, I just think it's fair that you know, and usually it's 50-50, some guys be like, oh, I still don't care, I think you're beautiful, like, when we going out, and then the other is like, not nah, response, or they just, just, they curious and still be wanting to text you and stuff like that, but y'all really don't end up meeting each other in public, and that's a big time waster, so, um, yeah, so definitely, um, you know, and the reason why, too, I just be flat out be telling him, you know, is um, I just, what was I going to say? I've already done the tricking, guys. I've already done that. Um, like, I don't need to waste my time anymore, you know, doing that. And I've already, um, I already lived my life. Like, I've already did all that. I got that out of my system, so... But, you know, I hope my experiences, I hope what I said, you know, kind of shed some light onto like, oh, okay, I'm going to do that, you know, um, you know, everything like that. I want y'all to be safe because, you know, I love y'all. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay magical.